Canada contains a large proportion of the world's forests, so we have a responsibility not only to maintain the communities and the industry in the country, but also to manage a forest sustainably um, on a global scale because of the environmental values in that forest, especially the carbon stored there. We're beginning to understand that climate change is going to have an effect on that forest, and uh, we need to try to reduce those effects as much as possible. A number of the, of, of the effects that will be directly relevant to industry are things like forest growth rates. In some cases, the trees may start to grow slower, which will reduce the amount of, of harvestable volume that are available, but there may be some conditions in which the trees actually grow faster. So we need to recognize both the negative effects and the positive effects of climate change. We also expect that the different species in the forest will start to change in their distribution. And so where a company might be used to harvesting some kind of a softwood species, they may now be forced to harvest a hardwood species. And so they will have to change their industrial practices to recognize that difference. Probably the most important initiative for the future in Canada is to undertake a vulnerability assessment. Right now, we don't have a very good viewpoint as to where the forests are vulnerable and in what ways they're vulnerable. The other important component of a vulnerability assessment is to start exploring adaptation options for the forest sector in Canada so that we start to understand what options there are available for forest companies to adapt to climate change. Another important step in the adaptation process is to identify what we call no regret options. These are things that will have immediate benefits to forest managers right now, but will also put them in a better place to adapt to climate change in the future. The way we look at adaptation is that it's implemented at the local level because you need to understand the local situation, but it's enabled by provincial and federal governments and other organizations. That means that all levels of government and industry need to work collaboratively in developing adaptation options. Adaptation is a key strategy because climate change will occur and we need to identify options for forest managers to better cope with climate change.